So apparently they have uh, new information out about the Trey Way Takashi case. And it has a lot to do with Aaron Bat Young and not just uh, the crimes that that they that that he's being accused of or that that he's already admitted to. But also it's going to it's really, I guess, interesting to see who did and who didn't snitch on him. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so yeah. So apparently, the stipulations and the guidelines for how Aaron Bat Young is gonna be sentenced has been released. Um, before we go any further, I want to say shout out to Sean Sitaro and Complex. Just I really appreciate you guys. And, um, all right, so we're going to go right into it. Before I tell you how many months they're actually thinking about giving them, I just want to break down a couple of things first. As you can see up there on the screen, it says um, narcotics trafficking. The reason why I want to look at this narcotics trafficking first, besides the fact it's, it's right there on the top, it's actually um, on the first page, is because, once again, I want to point out that there are a lot of people that got caught up in this particular case that has absolutely nothing to do with Takashi. Takashi could not have ratted or snitched on this guy. But you want to know who's a part of this particular case, it says? Christian Cruz. That's right. C-I-A or C-E-O Chris, as some people know him. Was a part of this. It says during the trial of Al Jamiah Mack and Anthony Ellison, Christian Cruz testified that the defendant was involved in all aspects of Cruz's narcotics trafficking, including packaging, selling, and transporting drugs. Indeed, Cruz characterized the defendant as Cruz's partner. Cruz estimated that he sold approximately 80 kilograms of mixtures and substances containing fentanyl and fentanyl analog from in or about 2016 through 2017. Cruz further testified that although the mixture contained fentanyl and fentanyl analog, Cruz told people that the substance he was selling was heroin. The defendant agreed that he too engaged in this conduct, which is accounted for by a four-point enhancement in the base offense level for knowingly misrepresenting that he was selling heroin. At certain times throughout the narcotics conspiracy, the defendant and Cruz were selling pure fentanyl mixed with cutting agents as heroin. So just so we can be clear on this right here, Takashi's name's nowhere to be seen. It basically says that CIA Chris... Is all over. CIA Chris has was actually uh, considering Aaron Bat Young as being his partner, and that's basically what that particular part says. Now we're gonna go to the next part. It says violence, right? It says on January nineteenth, two thousand and nineteen, the defendant and Cruz met with another nine tray member once again christian cruz cia chris ceo chris once again on january 19th 2018 the defendant and cruz met at another nine tra met another nine tray member known as snow at a bar in brooklyn after cruz left the bar the defendant shot snow in the back of the neck neck not head in the back of the neck at nearly point blank range miraculously snow survived the shooting later that evening the defendant contacted cruz and asked cruz to take the defendant to pennsylvania 
during the trip to Pennsylvania, the defendant admitted to Cruz that he bodied Snow, meaning that the defendant thought he had killed Snow. Cruz testified at trial regarding the attempted murder of Snow, as well as the events that led up to the shooting of Snow. Cruz testified that prior to the shooting of Snow, Cruz and Young heard a separate so, okay, so I'm just having problems pronouncing that word. I think I'm just having problems pronouncing words today. But it's serotipitous recording of Snow in which Snow was talking about kidnapping Cruz and killing Jamal Jamel Jones. According to Cruz, Young told Cruz that he had to shoot him. Young justified the shooting of Snow to Cruz because of the recording. So, once again... There is no Takashi mentioned. Also, I just want to point out. Bat, Aaron Bat Young. Basically. Shot a person who was plotting on killing people in the game. So once again, I don't know how anybody is going to take this. I don't know how that goes or whatever. I am. I don't know these politics, but. He, Aaron Bat Young, once again, I just want to point out, he shot a dude because that person was plotting on killing people that was his family. I just want to point that out. Okay, so we have the next part that says discussion. And this is where they talk about giving Aaron Bat Young 240 months. It says the government submits. That a stipulated guideline sentence of 240 months imprisonment would be sufficient, but not greater than necessary to reflect the seriousness of the offense, promote respect for the law, provide just punishment for the offense, and afford adequate deference to criminal conduct. Now, this is where, and this is why, basically, Aaron Bat Young has been saying um, or his his him and his legal counsel have come out and basically said that you know due to his learning disability that he you know shouldn't be held entirely responsible for his crimes. Now at the end of the day, I'm not one to tell you who should be held responsible or who should not be held responsible for anything. But the next time I see a politician go up there and talk about. They want to take money away from schools or they don't want to fund schools because or in, in, in hindsight, after they elected, they decide that they don't want to put money in schools. Remember, politicians know. They know this, that if you have low funding for schools in a community, the schools are not going to be able to teach those kids correctly and those kids will grow up. And not necessarily be a, a, a an endearing part of the community. So when I see that someone can actually foul what Aaron Bat Young has fouled. Saying look I've committed crimes. I've did this stuff throughout the course of my life. I've did that stuff throughout the course of my life. But it has to do with a learning disability. And I know that schools exist. And if he has a learning disability that has not been... Um, categorized it hasn't been documented then that means that his schools have been not doing what they're supposed to be doing now this isn't to take away from whatever crimes Aaron Bat Young committed but this is just to explain that I think that we need to be doing more in our schools I think we should be doing more for our children I think that there are a lot of people out here just in general who are fighting and they in they might have a uh, learning disabilities or they might just have been to bad schools but anyway this is why Aaron Bat Young had dropped the whole who oh, I brought up the whole learning disability uh angle because they about to give him 240 months that's what they're expecting for him to get 240 months that's what the the, the government is asking for that's a lot of time I mean I don't know what to tell you I don't know what the I don't know what the uh, how the brother or his family feels about this. I'm, I'm gonna assume that they want less than 240 months because, I mean, 
That's a lot of time. I'm not saying he deserves to get 200, less than 240 months. That's not up to me. I don't make these decisions. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think that I'm qualified enough to be able to determine these things. But what I will say is 240 months, it's 20 years. If he gets 240 months, that's basically the end of Aaron Bat Young. He gonna come out in his 60s. Something like that. So let me know what y'all guys think about this. Leave it down in the comment section. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comment section what y'all think we should think about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.